and do something. Something. That's what something. we'll do. We'll uh, do also something. The side objective of seeing if you can find out any more information about the Golden City from the Arnaki mages, because you you know it's beyond the storm wall, and and you don't have a very specific location, so finding more information about that would definitely be useful. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, as you guys approached, there was fog and a storm came. Uh, one might say the, the perfect storm. Yeah. Uh, an opportune moment to uh, for you guys to catch the fleet by surprise. Uh, so you sailed in pretty close uh, under cover of fog and stormfall and uh, used Paul to scout out where the ships were. Um, so you're like a couple miles away from the uh, fleet right now. And you have just cast all of your spells, uh, which are posted in the chat, because we're smart people. Yeah. Um, so I mean, sometimes. all written in there. Only sometimes, yeah. Um, so we have environmental protection, water, presumably, arcane protection with a raise for one, uh, a full day. I think those are both for a full day. Those are both uh, for a full day. Yeah, because those were the rituals. Um, you have invisibility selective, so you can see each other as sort of like s spectral shadows and dark sight. Um, and then you have fly with a raise and hurry, so you're going super fast right now. Uh, Tara has smite on her sword, and then Mr. Dibs, a, one of your weapons, has smite on it as well. All right. Which is the same smite, right? It's with a raise and plus four AP. Yep, both the same spell. Let me get my pencil. I'm doing Pretty everything good. else. But where the F bomb is my stuff? Huh. I have misplaced pencils. Blood casting adds damage, right? Uh, yeah, plus two damage. Is that only for, like, immediate level. damage spells, or would that also carry over? Um, it would be only for the first instance of, instance of damage. So. Yeah, so, one of your weapons has that smite. One, of, one weapon of your choice, Mr. Probably Chris. Rapier, because I want a ton of fucking parry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. And which? What's so, the? What's the element? Ice. Uh, uh, air. Okay. Parts air. Creating an aquarium bubbler. <laughs> and it's it's a raise. Uh, yep, yep. With four AP. Jeez, so plus nice. Four, plus four damage. Plus four AP. Awesome. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys, after finishing your preparation, you drop down beneath the waves, and the uh, the sounds of the uh, the storm above are quieted. Uh, so you drop under the water. We did we tell our crew to go to, into like a bay? Yeah. Well, we, oh. we told them to, to drop anchor and douse canvas, but... Yeah, they're they're hiding right now. I, I, I assume the instructions are if you guys uh, don't, like, get back to them, or if they're, like, threatened, then they should they should GTFO and, like, go to an agreed-upon location. Sail up the coast? Yeah. Right. I think should have, like, a bay in mind that if the storm gets so bad that they harbor no one Yeah, uh, I mean, you could uh, just, there are a good number of little, like, bays and inlets on the uh, the coast over here, so this big one. you could definitely have, have organized that in advance. 
Um, all right, so you guys drop beneath the waves. Um, are you going to summon Kato now, or are you going to wait until you get closer to the fleet? We're a couple miles away, right? You're a couple miles away right now. I mean, probably let her just run in a little bit ahead of us. Or arrive at the same time. Alright. So I, we can we're pretty fast time. right now, even underwater, right? Yeah, uh, so you're going at half pace, which, uh, that's it's still seven. like... It, it's seven? You've got it with oh, a raise. Oh, no. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's... 13. Nice. Yeah. Fly is good when you get it 20, with a raise. 26, yeah, so pace 13, you're... You are going pretty fast, yeah. A couple of minutes to get to the fleet. <laughs> Thankfully, the water protection helps with uh, drag on your face. Um, otherwise, yeah, that would be quite uncomfortable. All right, so maybe just call her right now and... I close my eyes. Everybody close your eyes. I'll pull out the rose, I guess, and throw it into the ocean. Yeah, and you do with, say... With the name. intent with the intent of calling her. I don't, do I, she just, ha she like comes here and asks, right? You, yeah, you, your instructions were you, you throw the rose into the ocean, which you know, it's kind of weird if you're underwater. It's intent, but, you know. And, and you, you speak her name. Okay. Keto. So you throw the rose. Sorry, are, Keto. Are, are, are your eyes closed? Yeah, close okay. eyes. Yeah. So we there's a silence as all of you with your eyes closed mm -hmm. under the ocean. You don't hear anything. And then you feel <laughs> a ripple of water around you, like something very large, disturbing uh, the uh, the waters around you. I'm not peeking, I'm doing stuff. A hissing whisper uh, surrounds you, uh, echoing through the water. And it says, uh, Your wish is uh, In... She is not Seely or on Seely. She's, like, unclassified, right? Uh, well... She's a, a Gorgon, which oh, is, right. is a Lightborn, but she's, like, really, like, messed up. She's okay. been, like, mutated. Yeah. She's but, like, a monster. As yeah. far as Lightborn go, they're not, they generally wouldn't try to fuck over just, like, a genie or anything. Not that I'm aware of. Uh, they have no, no, uh, preconceived biases one way or another. Yeah, we've, we've been friendly. I'm not so worried about it. Okay. Um, we didn't really talk about what we would ask. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, there is a fleet of ships just north of here along the coast. South. Just south of here. South of here. South! South! <laughs> Shit! She goes to just like... Destroys your ship. <laughs> Fuck! One ship's not a fleet! Come on! Yeah. Alright, sorry, sorry. She would find Fuck. a fleet to the north. <laughs> uh, there is an Arnaki fleet a few miles south of here. We need you to cause as much destruction and mayhem as you can. As long as you can. If you can, sink them all. <laughs> Uh, leave the the flagship for us, the big one. Very well, it will be as you said. Don't sacrifice your life to do this, though. I have no intention of doing so. I will. Call
cause as much destruction. Sick. You're cutting out. Well, sorry, yeah, I guess I'm talking low. <laughs> I will cause as much destruction as I can while remaining secure. You will be involved in this battle. We will. As unnoticed as we can hope to be, but yes. Do not look. Do not look what? Do not look up. Okay. We're during the battle. And, and she says, I will go and our deal is complete. A badass. I'm glad that uh, <laughs> you are free. Rippling around you. Yeah. I'm glad that we released such a awesome thing into the world <laughs> just like giant intelligent sea monster lady yep if, if you hadn't been so persistent about going to the vault we'd be playing a very different game <laughs> you'd have found something else uh, probably crazy but d different so, all right are we good what's i think we're good i'll peek i'll just like eh, poke my Do own eye open be here open you see like sort of a dark roiling mass of like serpents uh sort of ahead of you um <laughs> but yeah no no eyes they're about to have, have a real them. bad day yeah 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 what do you think she meant by don't look up uh maybe there'll be a, 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 be a, a large scale a gaze attack i don't know Maybe she'll be above the ships? I guess maybe, I would... Mm. Maybe she thinks Let's we'll go. be... Maybe she thinks we'll be fighting from underwater. Maybe. Well, let's not uh, look up. I, onward! I onward and not upward. <laughs> so you, you jet forward underneath the water. Um, as you, you do so, you, you begin to... Uh, you're going at about the same speed as as Kato is, um, and uh, so you can you you know keeping behind her, I presume, so you don't get too close. Yeah. Um, but you see, like as as you get close to where the uh, the ships are, her um, her serpents kind of like fan out a little bit and like slither around, like sort of looking up towards the bottoms of the various hulls and um as uh as you guys begin to get sort of like on the outside of where like the, the fleet is uh you see her her serpents breach the waves um one of them like coils around uh one of the smaller ships and just begins to like crush it yeah, um, cracking that shit. And you, you hear, oh, <laughs> you, you see, like in numerous places, the ships are are being attacked as her her various serpent hair uh, comes up and and begins the assault. Can she crack one in half and then just snap um, it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Uh, y you have to pass under that to get closer into the, the fleet, um, but it seems as though her gaze is directed to the surface at the moment, so... So don't look up. Yep, yeah, don't look okay. up. <laughs> Got it. Alright. Um, as you, as you, uh, swim underneath, uh, Kato, you hear, um, the faint sort of, like, crack of of gunshots and a few intermittent cannon shots as the uh the fleet begins to try and make a uh a counter offensive oh boy good luck um but Glad. Glad their first mistake the first mistake is looking at her 
Yeah. Yeah, you hit the aim. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone, Shh. take aim. Oh. <laughs> Stone. And that was their last and first mistake. Yep. And, um. So, as that horrifying battle is going on above you, um, you make your way towards sort of the middle of the fleet, and uh, the Aphelion, the capital ship, which you uh, is your your prey of the night, is in quite evident uh, in the water. It is a it is a man of war, so it's a big ship. Um, you can see that it has a, uh, a steel-plated hull, and uh, there are, on the um, on the bow and the stern, there are these, like, metal, sort of, like, blade-like protrusions, um, like, ram edges and uh, sections to discourage ramming. Hmm. Um, have the map of the top deck on a... Map. If I was fighting the ship, I'd definitely be ramming it. <laughs> yep. Yep. Or a choice as that might be. So this is the uh, the top deck of the Aphelion. Um, there are th there are three gun decks, including the top deck. And um, wait, wait, we're we're not going up on we haven't come to the surface. Right. No, no, this, I'm just giving you this as, and there are people up on the top deck, but you can't see them here underwater. I'm just giving you a, an idea of the, the ship layout. Um, see so that you can. Oh, this thing's fucking huge! Yep, so there there are three gun decks in addition, or on the, in, in including the top deck, and from what you can assume from like the uh the draft of the ship there are probably two more decks below that including a cargo hold um so yeah uh <laughs> a uh, a standard uh, a vessel like this tara you would know the approximate uh crew is like around 150 to 200 crew members So, that's what you're dealing with. And there are you've just been a top-of-the-line <laughs> vessel. You know that the hollows and probably several elite uh, units of uh, marines and such, in addition to the numerous uh, powerful mages. Uh, let's, let's not pussyfoot about. <laughs> so what's the plan? So what's the plan? <laughs> I, I'm gonna hit it with a, a bolt and just it's gonna blow up in one go. We'll we'll find the thing when it sinks. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so do we just fly up invisible to one of the windows in the back and in the chaos hope nobody hears the sound of a breaking window? There are two decks of weapons. Um, that's an option. I know I know silence, so I can make it not sound like anything. Um, we can try to bore a hole through the hole. Sneak in like water creatures. Oh, you mean like knock a hole in the hole? We have, oh, like, okay. ever-burning fire. Yeah, that's true. I have a lot of that. Well, I think is this we'll probably need to use it. As well. Just so. uh, is it steel-plated? I mean, the, ever the fire burns metal. It would so take a long time. It would take a while. Scale, yeah. Yeah, we would probably, need, probably need to blast it with magic. Or straight light. What about? It. Yeah. What about? Uh, you know, like some smite action with all that AP, just to saw through and get a hole. I uh, mean, you like, need, it, so, so you need to have like, a heavy weapon to deal. Oh, damage. gotcha. Like a ship. 
Yeah. I get it. Or we could just fly up on the deck and try to sneak through the right doors like normal thieves. There we go. But I mean, I'm partial to the window because we don't have to go on the deck. Yeah. Which there's probably a lot of people on. That's why you're the captain. You think of windows. We can get into one of the gun decks. They have oh, a, a porthole? Yeah. One of the, the portholes. Yeah. I, I'm a sailor, the flappy door thing. <laughs> yeah, so the um, just to, to give you reference, the back area here, there are two levels of windows back here. Um, then there's like a smaller window right here, which probably leads to a uh, like quarters or something. And there's... Uh, then there's portholes for the. Are there line. are there stern are there stern gun ports below the uh, windows? There are not stern gun ports. No. Okay. There seems to be some kind of like small. Um, uh, looks like a like a battle chaser type cannon mounted on the back, uh, in addition to some larger cannons. But they're on the deck. They're up on the deck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with gun ports or window. All right. Well, I went ahead. I cast smite on my weapon. I used a, a Benny for blood casting. All right. Oh, yep. I have to to do that, don't I? I guess you guys might want Benny's for this session. Do we have deflection? Don't believe. Uh, so. No, we do not. Okay. We we put up arcane protection instead. Okay, I have uh, two potions of that. Does anyone want want it? Oh, you have that in potion form? Yeah. That could be really useful. Yeah, who wants I'll, that? I'll take one. I won't drink it right away, but I'll take No, one. me neither. Me neither. Okay. To have it ready when shit goes yeah. down. I'm pretty much saying it's in my belt pouch. My plan is to not be shot at, so... I intend to be shot at, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> if um, I start... And, 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 as the... soon as we, or right before we come over the water, we need to drink our potions of detect our or conceal our con. Also, Auspex. And our con. For, for the, the wizards. Alright, I'm out. I'm out of... Uh... Might as well do that. That's an hour. Might as well do that now. Yep, now I'm out of deflection. Well, I mean, when I use it, I'm out. No more deflection potions for me. And I have... Siphon is that is that the mage killer? That's yep. the no yeah. magic drug. That's yeah. You what do I do with syringes that? Syringes and you also have a like a gas grenade. I have I have one of those yeah. and then two, just two uses of siphon. Yeah, those are syringes. So I mean, you have to like stab. you have to stab someone and and inject them if you actually manage to like injects the entire syringe in it's it's pretty bad for them it's gonna uh, be bad for someone like, you'd have to grapple them to successfully do that all right my athletics is 10 i'll get there oh i got entangled too Ooh. Mm -hmm. I, I could help you plus i have the old trusty Anyways. uh nut shot <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> I'd like to take a multi-action. First action, rail in the balls. Second action, while he's curled up in the fetal position, stab him with a needle. Make him impotent and useless. Brutal. Yep. Alright, window or gun port? Window. Alright. Alright, window. Alrighty. It's our window of opportunity. So we siphoned, hey. or we didn't siphon, no, we, we... Which window? The opportunity one. Which so opportunity one? Before, before we come out of the water. <laughs> the best. Yep. Tara and I both aspects, and then we all drank the concealer chronic right? Yep. Drugs, 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 drugs. <laughs> Alright. That's good. Yep. So many buffs. 
Oh. Is there? Let's go. Is there a way to have this in like poison form? Yeah. Uh, what? The aspects like to coat a blade. You mean, you mean siphon? siphon? Or yeah. Oh, like oil. Yeah. Um, that that Those... has not been developed yet. To your knowledge. Those hollows do it, don't they? They have like needle. Like, oh, they just have weapon. syringe fingers. Yeah, they have syringe fingers. Ah. Uh, <laughs> dirty <laughs> pool. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's a weapon specially designed to administer aspect. And we all have whistles, right? Uh, yep. You got the you've got the hollow whistles. And we know the code words. You know the code words. Vague code words. Vague. Yeah. I guess I don't. What what's what's this? I must not have been paying attention. For uh, one, let me write down hollow whistle. Yeah. So and the it's dog like, whistles. It's a dog whistle that. The, they use to like give orders to massive amounts of the like dumb fighty hollows. Okay. Um, which, if you have a whistle and you know the command words, then you can you can mess with their commands a little bit. So, I think as soon as we go by the water, one of the commands is just like start attacking everything, right? Um, essentially, yeah. Yeah. So as soon as we come start up with blasting chaos, that. Just go aggro. We'll start, yeah, doing more chaos. Okay. Uh, hey, yeah. So question. Hey, yeah. Two questions. One, where's Paul? Uh, Paul is on my shoulder. Underwater. Right, because <laughs> one point we had talked about if he's like on my person, gets the spells. Okay. <laughs> Sure. If not, he's going to... Aerodynamic and hydrodynamic is almost the same thing. <laughs> oh, fuck. You don't want him to be flying around, because he might look at... Just like, uh, he might look at keto. Yeah, I didn't think about the whole keto thing. Yeah. Paul, Paul, Paul's on the ship. Yeah, the original plan was to have Paul like flying around and, and yeah, but being eyes in the sky, petrified. Yeah, the the other eyes in the sky kind of interfere with that. Yeah, <laughs> there's some there's some really powerful eyes up there. Yeah, yeah Paul, fly okay. around with your eyes closed. So Paul's on the <laughs> here. And then my second question is, which window are you going to go for? The fanciest. Can you describe the different windows? So, the one directly below the top deck here is a uh, a window. It goes kind of like all along this back side here, um, with a good amount of metal reinforcement. There's like metal bars uh, across it. Um, and then the second one uh, below that, there are like three separate windows. One's here. And then one's kind of like across here, and one's there. This little like L-shaped thing is only on the top deck, and then it kind of like slopes down. Um, and then the other ones, there's there's two smaller windows a little bit further up along the sides. I mean, actually, there's two two rows of them. Uh, 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 the center window. Can we look into it? Can we look in the center window? Well, yes, but you'd have to fly up to it first. Right. Let's do that. Okay. Lower one or upper? Weapons ready. Lower one. The, okay. the lower one, sure. Yeah. So you, you do your you do your thing and you fly up to the lower window invisibly. <laughs> uh, you drunk your potions of conceal arcana and stuff. Um, we, we dog whistle. Okay, you're gonna blow the whistles. Who's who's gonna blow? Are you guys gonna all blow the whistle? Probably just one, because otherwise they'll overlap. Yeah, it might mess things up. Um, all right, whoever blows the whistle, um, whoever's, whoever's the, the whistle blower, yeah, so. probably <laughs> probably the music boy. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah, give me a. Um, There's fucking the, things out of tune. The ladies here are not musically inclined. Give me a common knowledge roll. 
<laughs> no, nah, it's not working. <laughs> Hold on, where the fuck is my six? Oh, it's a four. Hiya! I got a two. A two. Oh. Okay, you blow the whistle. You cannot hear the sound, but you assume that it is it is working. Mm-hmm. Can uh, Luca hear the sound? Nope. Okay. He still has normal human ear hearing uh, equivalent or the equivalent. Okay. He hasn't fine to He has an auto tuned. Yeah, he doesn't have dog hearing. He has an auto tuned. <laughs> All right. So to the sounds of the here, world. The lowest room. You guys fly up and kind of like look in through the window you see there is a big fancy bed um and there is a a man inside of the room with a, a fancy uh cape and armor which is partially put on fancy man um and he is kind of like he, he's he's almost done putting his armor on and, and is kind of like looking out of uh, well, probably probably this window over here, trying to probably figure out what the hell is going on outside as mm -hmm. cannon fire and dark shapes move through the lightning, uh, lightning rot sky. Um, he does not seem to notice you, as you are invisibly pressed up against the the glass and and the uh, like the bars. Watching him get dressed. Can I, yeah. can, I shoot, can I shoot him? Uh, you can shoot him if you would like. Uh, you do have the drop on him. What's that? I don't know if I've ever had the drop. What does that mean again? Plus four. Uh, you, you get a plus four to hit and plus four damage. And if you have the assassin edge, you get plus six damage. Ooh. But I will, I will do that. And I'll do a headshot. All right. So you kind of fly up and sort of put a hand on the bars and the rifle to sort of like aim a little bit and steady yourself. Yeah. The window with the metal bars? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all the windows have bars on them for right. security purposes. I got the, the Blood casting is only bonus of damage, right? Uh, you're so shooting him, right? Are you shooting him with a bolt? I, no, I'm shooting him with a smited rifle. Oh, okay. Yeah, the blood casting doesn't give bonus to smite damage. Okay. I thought you said on the first one. Let me know. No, only like direct damage spells. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, buffing spells, it, it doesn't give bonus damage. It get, just gives you the oh. ability to. Get a raise, more likely. Okay. Um. All right. Well, then I got a nine. Nine to hit. All right. It's with a raise against his unarmored skull. <clears throat> oh, he almost got his helmet on. So close. Not that it would matter with Robin's AP. No. Gotta be wearing power armor to tonight. Get that. Uh, twenty-three. Okay. Um. So. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> he drops to the ground. Oh boy. A pool of blood comes forth from his head uh, with a sound that was pretty much silent. Oh, I forgot you have a silencer. Yep. Yeah. Ah. With, with the storm and the battle, there's no way that anybody heard that. Super, like, not super. Is it super rare to have a silencer? Uh, yeah. Awesome. I mean,. The Emperor's personal assassins got one, but that's the only yep. one we've ever seen. 
Yeah. Fucking A. All right. Yeah, and this, this is like a magical silence here, so it actually does, but just the little like t sound the instead of like normal silencers, which do not do that. No, I mean it's it's still pretty loud, but yeah, it's like a loud clap. Um, All right, let's those, bust those this fucking don't window. Don't exist. In. I, I still oh. kind of be the personal assassin for that change once he's the emperor. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems <laughs> You'd be pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All well, right. Let's... The assassin Can I that try? Had that silencer before was in theory pretty good at it, but he failed. <laughs> I still think about how bad that would have been if they had failed. Been super bad. <laughs> All right. Anyways, yes, I'm gonna Robin take does. my rape here, and I'm gonna see how easy it would be to cut through this this glass um, and metal bar. Yeah. So yeah, you've got AP on that. AP four. Um, plus four damage. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and give me like a. Uh, Strength roll. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That... You you sort of stab your sword through and kind of. Uh, um... This is going to make noise. I don't know. Also, I, I guess I forgot the the bullet did break through the glass, so that would. Yeah. Well, hopefully there's a lot of shit going on. Yeah. I okay. I am a I am a slight I lady. Uh. Uh, petite yet yet strong, but not yeah. with my muscles. Uh, <laughs> because I got a two. So while she's doing that, I'm going to train on that door. On the door, yeah. So there's. I got a nine. <clears throat> okay. So Tara, like the sword does like break through and like cut, but you're having a hard time like leveraging with the rapier uh, to break the bars. Uh, Mr. Dibs, you are able to like just sort of slam the, the sort of base of the blade through the bars, and with the, the AP of the smite, uh, you're able to cut through several of them. Um, it, it does take a couple of rounds to do so, um, but you are able to cut uh, the bars off uh, where they are there. And Robin, your your aim is trained on the, uh, the door there. Okay, so this is... This is... Um, making some sound uh it is storming out so, uh you know it's it's not uh it's not super likely that anyone hears uh would you like to give me a notice roll robin can i do stealth when i crawl through sure i got a 14. no oh, just okay. two so, um, as, as Mr. Dibbs begins to chop through the, the, the bars, you, you hear from the other side of this door, you hear like a... Hey! Um, they also had that idea. <laughs> Smart. It's a good idea. It is. A lot of people sneaking on the boats these days. Roughly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there, there seems to be some canines that are alerted. Uh, I will let my compatriots. You may continue chopping through if you wish. Yeah. I, I, okay. I just go ham and get through. Yep. So you chop through the rest of the way. Uh, the rest of you hear like woo, 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 and sh 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 as they are. Scratching on the door. Mm. Um, so the uh, um, Mr. Dibs, you move through the uh, the door at or through the window at about the same time. Well, y you hear the sound of of. Um, someone uh, a woman's voice uh say yeah uh, 
hush, hush now. And um, the like the latch of the door begins to make noise. Oh, I rush and try and grapple as soon as that door opens. So you have a, a round. Okay, you're gonna just bum rush. Yep. When that door opens, okay. grab, pull in, shut the door. We're going to draw initiative then, <clears throat> because. Oh, I thought uh, you said I had a round. Can I get there though? You can get there, yeah. Okay, um, that's what so that's what I wanted. As as the door opens, you are not met with a, a human woman. You are met with two giant warhounds in front of a human woman, um, and they barge through towards you. Uh, in now, that. real talk here, the age-old question: uh, What's the weather like? Oh, it's storming. It's a storm, you say? It's oh storm. goodness! How many cards do you get? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two more? I get one extra card for no, just one extra card oh, okay, for being okay. in a storm. No, and I don't have level-headed because uh, Tara ain't fucking level-headed. I no, you, I thought you. Have I have quick. Headed. You're pretty sure I've... you have level-headed. Oh fuck yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. one level of level. Otherwise, yeah. we've been doing initiative wrong for a very long time. Yeah, for like the entire campaign. <laughs> so yeah, I get I get three cards then. Okay. And quick. That's not bad. And quick, yeah. Any so, the the dogs come forth. Um, the dogs know something is here. They cannot see invisible, but you know. Where are these draws happening? Uh, right, right at the bottom, right underneath this thing. I am the worst finder of cards. Oh, right there. Derp. I didn't have to move. Out of here. Get that trash out of here. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Eh. Allies. Okay. So, um, Tara, you go first. Well, fuck. Yeah, no, there's no way I'm getting better than a jack. Okay. Um, am I- I'm still outside, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, the hole in the window is right here. Uh, you don't have to be in that particular place. You could have been, like, closer yeah, to there. Uh, yeah, I'm- I'm imagining that I was squeezing through when he went over there. Because okay. I yep. didn't hear the dogs, right? Uh, you did after a while, because they were pretty sure. loud. Like, he oh. just, like, opened the door. I'm, like, halfway through the window, yeah. and just, like, Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll finish getting through the window. Um, huh. What do I want to do here? Oh, okay. I know. Alright, I'm going to... Cast. I'm going to cast Havoc right here behind them to try to blast them into the into the room. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. um, I'm gonna make it selective because I only want these three to get hit. I don't want it to. Yeah, you like, don't hammer you, so the walls. It's like a singular gust. Forward. It's more of like a gust of wind towards me. Yeah. Um. So it's selective. Uh, I didn't have the power up, of course. Selective is plus one. Havoc is two. I'll make it strong. So it's minus two. This will be my only action. Um, I'm at plus four magics right now. So this is at a plus two. Dang. Actually, you know what? I will... Sure, why not? I will multi-action, uh, and I will rage cast. Nice. Get shit done. Guess what I rolled. <laughs> a six? <laughs> or... It's a crit fail. Yeah! Nice. Starting off strong! Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> That's bad. Ah! That's trash. Uh, woo! 
Great right. start. Can What'd I you get? Roll to not fall back into the water. Uh, I would. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it's that's that's that. Um, uh, I have to do the thing now. Yep. Roll backlash. Yeah, let's fucking go insane. Why? Why wait around? <laughs> Uh, I don't have the backlash table up, of course. There it is. Well, because, yeah, oh, you didn't boy. expect that first thing. Like, oh, before I roll, let me get the backlash table up. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, it's, it could be worse. Uh, the spell auto-fails and the caster is stunned. Okay. I mean, at so least you're I... still invisible. Yeah, thank goodness. But the fly and smite does yep. drop. So, Mr. Dibbs, you, you feel the lightness of the air around you dead in. And I am stunned. And Tara is stunned. Which, perfect. Which, yeah. Th there are worse places to be stunned, as you know from experience. Like, yeah, outside? Yeah. In the water? Like, d directly in front of a murderous <laughs> assassin. Or there. Or there. Yeah. That's Dollar. bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Robin, give me an agility roll. Because um, you are outside still. It would have been cool! I was going to blast him into the room, and then when they were prone, I was going to hit him with my sword. That would have been cool. Uh, I got a five. Okay, so oh, you are able to like hold on to the... Uh, um, the bars, you kind of drop down, and you can't really, like, fire your rifle now I'm from sure. outside. Okay. But can but... you imagine, like, camera pans outside, suddenly... Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. I'm coming back up here. I'm waiting for you guys to come back and cast a fly on me again. <laughs> right. Just gonna I... hang there. That's my right. turn. Good turn, Tara. Yep. Good turn. And now I'm thinking, oh, shit. <laughs> Like this didn't turn start well. I could you right. oh no, you can see me. I was gonna say yeah. I could be like dead back there and you wouldn't know. She's all like, wow. Um all right, so the two dogs, they know some shit is that going down. Uh they don't exactly know what. They're just rushing into the room like dogs do. Um so this dog cannot see you, Mr. Dibbs. Nope. He's just running forward. Yep. Um I'm gonna say this is like a. Uh, what do you got? Well, you know what? You want to give me like an agility roll? I'd love to. to. Try and evade the dog. I'd love to. Hiya! Five. Uh, <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, I'll take it. That is enough. Who? You sort of shuffle to like move to the side as dog runs over here um, and kind of like stops like right here and is just like haunched like fully up just like snarling and like looking around the room. This one runs over here and like sniffs the uh, very dead man. Um, the, uh, the lady here steps forward see her eyes look at the broken hole here here and then see the dead guy there and the empty room um what is she gonna do what is she gonna do i'm interested she is going to go this can i grab her <laughs> can i grab her in response uh, you can because she stepped into your your uh, threatened space. Correct. Actually, well, ac well, actually, actually. Uh, well, can, when she stepped you in, have first strike. Yes. When she stepped in, could I have done it? Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that does actually actually mean that you have two attempts because yeah, that's kind of. It's kind of what I was going for. Assuming right. that that doesn't it's, change what she does. It's it's up to you though, because uh, if first strike is worded and as they have to attack me first. No, they just have to move within your threatened reach. Cool. I I didn't know. 
Hiya. So, do I uh, roll athletics? Or should I just try uh, and kill her? Probably just try and kill her. You're but... going to try and grapple her? Or... Uh, that was at first, just to get her in the room, thinking that. But now I'll just try and murder. Uh, two, two swings. Uh, you, you, you get one attack with first strike. Right, and then, yeah, right, then when she, if she tries to leave, yeah. okay. Well, so. yeah, well, I guess I'll move her back here, it's the first strike. Alright, hi, yeah, um, 12? Fighting is 12, yep. Come on now. I got a 12, and blow it up for a 22. 22 to hit uh yeah yeah that does hit and that's um, with the with the rapier let's see with, she is she is it, it, the rapier with smite with yeah unless it went uh, away a oh. actually oh. Smite. smite's gone yeah that's what i thought so yeah just the rapier then the rapier the normal rapier yep because that's what is out because okay. that's what i so use to carve through you thrust the rapier through her heart Oh boy! Um, as it as it stabs forward, you see her form kind of like flicker and distort, distort, uh -oh. and your rapier passes through nothing. Uh oh! Although she does seem to feel its presence, and it definitely does not change what she was doing as she runs away. Uh, you do get a second attack. I try to grab the hmm. Ah, <sighs> there's mm. some magic bullshit there. Yeah. God, who uses magic bullshit? Yeah. I stab her with some ospa or siphon. <laughs> uh, okay. You could try and do. You could try and stab her with the syringe. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Go ahead and make a fighting roll at minus one for improvised weapon. All right. All right. I got an eleven and an exploding six. And an exploding six. What? Uh, so, 16. Minus one, 15. That definitely hits her parry. Man, she would be super fucked up if you could touch her back. Yeah. So it did. Through the back. Damn it. Unfortunately, the syringe uh, is not capable of yep. touching her, even, even though it is magic. <laughs> no magic drug. Yep, that's that's bra that's Dib's brain at work. Yep. Like, I kind of figured um, it wouldn't work. I'm like, ah, this ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, but you know, the way to play your intelligence. Good yep. <laughs> ah, um, well, fuck you, anti magic. What the fuck? <laughs> um. So she runs here. This thing's and, defective. Uh, <laughs> opens this door and uh, you hear her shout, Kasar. Uh, Something happened. The captain's dead. Alarm. Um. <laughs> and uh, yeah. You hi, motherfuckers. Wait. Robin killed the captain in one hit. Um, the drop is pretty serious. Yeah. No. That guy wasn't like a chump or anything. He just had a D8 figure and wasn't wearing a helmet, so... That'll do it. Died. <laughs> that That's why this game is called Savage Worlds. Yep. Alright. Robin, it's your turn. Right. You're just hanging out. To attempt to... Wait, is Tara still in the window? Like, uh, the... she's through, kind of like, on her knees. Uh, just on the inside of the window. Okay, she she went to cast the spell and you got kind of got like a gut punch and the, the wind knocked out of you. Literally. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna try climbing through that, that hole. Alright, give me an athletics roll. Uh, this will count as an action because of, like, navigating through it, so if you want to do something else this turn, nope. you'd have to take them all down. Okay. Nope. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. You spider monkey your way in, so that it's uh, difficult terrain for climbing here. So you would use pretty much all your movement to get uh, next to Tara there. That's fine. 
Or I guess My you could be body is difficult terrain. <laughs> All right, that's Robin's turn. Yep. That brings it to Mr. Dips. All right. Well, what the fuck? Why isn't this working? By the I way, don't... I, didn't, I didn't really describe this lady, but she, uh, I mean, she has the picture there. She's wearing, like, fancy clothing, um, and she's got, like, this this crazy, like, sort of bracer thing that has, uh, like, a, like a watch on, on one part and, like, a bunch of, like, needles and, like, compasses and stuff. Okay. Uh... I don't want to deal with dogs. I don't want to. I don't want to take dogs out. So, Fuck, shit. I'm just gonna follow. Yep. <laughs> just gonna go up right there. Yep, and get Donzire. Yep. And swing that. All right. <laughs> Make a attack roll. It's like, all right. I've been told this sword says "fuck you" to all things. So, fuck you, thing. Kind of see into the room, and you see a another man with like fancy robes, who's kind of um, sitting on the bed, being a little bit tired. I got oh, I got an eight. An eight, you say? I did say that. Okay, that will hit with a raise. Are you. Oh. Okay, does it? Yep. Oh! Roll damage. Oh ho! Mm -hmm. Yo ho! Damn it. Remember when my smite dropped? I bet that was important. Maybe. That was pretty important, yeah. <laughs> that would have helped Stupid. a lot. Stupid. I'm rolling a d12 plus four right now. <laughs> oh well. And then the, one the in, dice are fuck you, crit fat. One in 72 chance every single time I cast a spell. Hmm. Oh wait, did I, no raise? Uh, with a raise, yes. Okay, um... So hold on then. Because I mean, my raises started at a d10. I got... Four, I need to roll that the d10. And not... Not a d6. And then my, okay, there we go. Now I've got the correct dice. Alright. 4, 4, 8, 10. 10 total. Not that great. Two of it is fire. Okay, uh, so you, you feel more impact, and you, you see uh, the, the woman kind of like wince a little bit. Um, like it was slightly uncomfortable that you slashed your sword through her torso. Mm hmm. You know, um, as it should be. But yeah, it, it does not seem to do uh, too much. Alright, oh god damn it, I keep forgetting. Hold on. I keep hitting buttons, and it changes. My uh, my overlays. <laughs> also, uh, you can see further into the ship. You see there is a group of hollow right there, who are just kind of like standing in formation, as well as a pretty lively gun deck um, on the other side. And you can't really see much further just because of the uh, number of bodies in the way. Okay, so that was. I was right here. You moved four squares. Is it space or Q? I can't remember now. Q. Alright. I just... Is he is he in the bed? Uh, he's sitting on the bed. Oh, yeah. I tackle the fuck out of him. Okay. Yep, you can move through uh, her easily because of... Tangibility. But oh, yep, and then come here. You're gonna grapple him. <laughs> yep. Okay. So I, uh, I put. I can put one weapon away. Nope, I already did that. So I guess I just kind of toss the sit, uh, the rapier down and jump on the bed with one with Don's ire in hand and come here, you. <laughs> We're gonna have a. Pillow fight to the death. <laughs> Do you say that? Yep. Okay. An ethereal voice says, Ah, come here, you. <laughs> come here, ye. It's a pillow fight to the death. Right now. Um, the, 
the man on, on, on the bed says, what the fuck? As uh, mm-hmm. you descend upon him, uh, yep. go ahead and give me an, you're trying to grapple, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so give me an, an athletics roll at uh, 